Okay, so how to fix the circles of light in the ceiling. Yes, um, so with that, um, I think you would, I mean, it's just a, like it's, it's the way that, um, like the, it is what the light is doing, right? So one thing you could do is use, uh, I, I was goofing around with some different techniques. So let me show you something here in, uh, I'll go to build mode. And if you drop an area light, so if I go to my objects, uh, place and place a light, I'm gonna go to area lights and I'll just use this big area light. All right, and I'm gonna put it right on the, the roof here for now, like that. And then I'm gonna select uh, my area light. It is already selected. You can kind of see it there. And then the width is gonna be as wide as it can and the length. And uh, I'm gonna just move it up a little bit. Let's see, it's this dot here. Okay, so that's an area light, all right? Now, based on that, that blog post that I was showing you, I, an area light will push light all the way through this building. It doesn't cast shadows. All right. So one thing that I found, uh, and I, I, I tinkered with the idea of, of you know, uh, avoiding spotlights in this building, um, but instead I, I went with, um, I, I just stuck with the spotlight. So we're, we're going to flip this so it's going up to minus 90, like that. And then um, I'm going to just kind of come down here. All right. And now watch the change that happens when I move this. And I'll just use my height tool. All right, so like, watch what happens to the ceiling, like that. You know, so now you're you're it's it's pushing light up, right? So like, you could you could drop this area light here and like you know tune up the brightness, or or you could have a couple of area lights going and get a more even glow. But I guess what I'm getting at is that the way that I have those, um, you know, those spotlights, it's like that's what it's going to do. Uh, let me see if maybe there's a better answer I can have by tweaking some of these guys. Like, so I'm, I'm going to get to like a strategic selection here and just hit you know everything inside of my building like that. So I think I think we're good. All right. So then um, maybe what I could do is uh, you know the cone angle um, make that as wide as it can be. And you know it's kind of hard to see now. Uh, the brightness, you know, maybe if the brightness on that was tuned up, but I, I have a feeling that that's going to get really messy. So honestly, um, I would leave these alone at 300. And and also the experimentation I was doing, um, uh, 300 is what we want. Uh, when when it came to global illumination you know it was always global illumination has always been a bit of a mystery to me as to exactly what it's doing uh, why it's doing that um, so you know what I would probably do is I would have I would build like a ceiling grid in here and then I would I would drop a few like fluorescent lights and I would make the light emissive out of the fluorescent light panel the two by four or the two by two and just make it look like it's glowing. And then I would just drop like some Omni lights in there and just make it, you know, kind of glow so that we're getting a more even glow. But anyway, back to our uh, idea of, um, of global illumination. It, it's just, it's so slow. And, um, you know, it, like, it's my understanding, you know, you go in here and, you know, you pick like a handful of these lights and, you know, now like it's it's actually bouncing this light around. Um, and so I'm just gonna pick like a bunch of these guys up on the, the top floor. And let me, let me get a better view. So like this, so that I can see. I just wanna focus on like where, you know, this guy's kind of getting these uh, circles on the ceiling. Now, here's the critical thing is you gotta turn up your spotlight global illumination amount. And so, you know, you can see that as I tune that up, it's it's getting pretty high. Uh, I'm gonna go with uh, I don't know. I guess I'll go with a thousand. And uh, and let's just render it. This will be image number three. But I can tell you that this is gonna take. Um, you know, it it slows things down. 
Uh, let's see what image what this does for us. I'll do 1920 by 1080, image three, and um, and now it's got to think. You know, now we're slow, slowing down. So you can see our render time is drastically different. So um, we'll let that cook. But uh, to to sum that up, I think that you could pick a softer light profile. Make sure it's real wide. Uh, maybe pull those down. Um, I think that you could reconsider the ceiling being an actual grid. You know, like just use a, um, a ceiling grid texture and then drop some 2x4 panels in where you're going to have an emissive material so it looks like the lights are on. Uh, you could just drop omni lights, like just do like an omni grid, and so that there's just light. You know, I don't think that we need perfect spotlights. Um, so maybe that would have been an option where if I took those nodes from this portion of the building and did a different node placement with Omni lights. So we have this nice clean grid of Omnis that just brightens it up. That, that would have been cool too. So let's see. That's taking forever, huh? Yeah. No, I mean, but still not bad, but it's just uh, drastically increases. So here's image two. And here's image three. And I mean, other than just being a bit brighter, I'm just not sure what we're actually getting out of it, you know? And I think that I could get these to be brighter. So anyway, I've uh, backed off on global illumination. Seems like uh, the results, uh, the, the testing that I've done, Hyperlight handles it, and uh, that's that. So.